And we're back. Uh, so I defeated the trapper trader dude. And I realized that I didn't hit record. So that was fun. I got it on my third attempt this episode. I used Mantis God right out of the gate. Delta Quick 3. And then the second turn, I summoned the, the Raven with the three attack that just hits over everything. And I had two extra squirrels in my hand. So I quickly sacked off two squirrels and then attacked with the bird and one. But yeah, that was that was it. It was pretty simple. Again, I just needed a good opening hand. The trap is shit, yet the prey remains. And the trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Lest she awaits. Please be something good. What is this? Sapphire Mox can't be sacrificed. While Sapphire Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. Okay. Broken a ball. Once broken a ball is struck, the striker is then dealt a single point of damage. Okay. Elk fawn. Another one of these guys. Ooh, and a salmon. There we go. Ugh, two sacrifice though. It's not really worth it. Oh, what is this? I do wish to trade. Whoa, what is this? Oh, this guy again. Oh, but he cost eight. That is tragic. I don't really have the deck to support him right now anyways. So you can buy a pack for five. Is there a way to farm foils? Or did I just have to win like with a greater margin? I don't even remember. No, I, I think I got him from winning with like an overkill. So I think I just gotta get good. And by get good, I mean get better RNG. But it's working. You had bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, and the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Your ambition is to defeat me? Foolish. Even if by some odd luck you defeat me now, you will still need to defeat me once more in the final duel. And that is even more unlucky. Steal yourself, or my beast will show you no mercy, only fangs. Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. My beasts are famished. Okay. Hmm. Put him there. He'll put you here. Okay. Think what I do. I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna play a squirrel and sacrifice both of them for Mr. Birdman. Oh, nice. Well, he's gonna move, yeah, to an empty spot. So I will play a squirrel, then play this dude right there. Oh, one away. Okay, this is fine. Good. You won. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I read the first three letters, but not the fourth and the fifth character. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Hmm. 
We never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. I hope you don't mind my filling in the blanks. What? What? The fuck? So Mantis God and... A bunch of cats. Get rid of him, but Mance is here. Oh, nice, and we blocked him because he moved. Oh, hell yeah. That's not good, though. And I lost. How utterly disappointing. I was hoping for a greater challenge. It was all over so quickly. Oh, if I could extend the struggle. For the kill is only as satisfying as the struggle that precedes it. That was... Why did it brick my hand with those stupid cards? Ooh. Okay. Um, it'll play you right here. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna do this now because this guy's just gonna come up and kill Mantis God anyway. We'll put him here. Okay, there's round one. Yeah, then he bricks your hand with all of these. And I lost. Fun. How am I supposed to get around that? Like, how do I... What do I... Hmm. Well, this isn't good. Yep, that's that's a, that's a fat L. Perhaps you'd fare better against PO3. Turns me with a more powerful deck. How? I don't know how to get more cards. Try it again. Part of the cards. Nope.
All right, I want to figure out if there's a way I can get a better deck. Okay, next fight. And for some reason, on phase two, all these cards no longer have a blood cost. Which is odd, but I'll take it. Because that's going to let me... Oh, he's blocked the Grizzly, okay. But we know how that goes. He's just going to move over here to block us. So let's do that. And then Grizzly. See, I don't know. I want you here, so for sure get rid of these three. Where do we put him? So if I put Grizzly here, he's gonna attack you, deal four, leave you on two. You're gonna move over, get hit by him, and die. Which means Grizzly's gonna be able to step up and deal four damage to our Grizzly. Which in turn we'd do four to him, and he would kill us the next phase. But, if I put Grizzly like here, in one of these spots, we'll kill one of these guys our turn. Mole Man will move over, bl block you, but take three. Grizzly will move up and be able to do a direct attack. And we would lose. Because Frogman would be able to attack us directly. And so would Bear. So they'd combine for five. And we wouldn't be able to do any damage. So I can't put Grizzly here or I'll lose. I guess I could, because I can just put one of these guys down to block, to block Grizzly. That's a good idea also. This is the best start I have, and I really don't want to blow this. So I've put, like, Grizzly here. Kills him. We'll take one. And if we put a skeleton here, he'll attack for one. You will move over. Take three more, leaving you on two. Grizzly will move down. Kill the bone dude. Which actually will work out. I think that's my play. I think that's the play. A mole man of my own. So right now, I'm gonna be outpaced by one. He's gonna do five to me, I'm gonna do four to him, and we're gonna kill mole man. So, I think he wins on that, on that voice crack. So I've taken one. So he'll do five, take me to six, but I'll do four to him. So no, I'll be fine. I'm fine to do this. Because once this guy's gone, these two are just free to attack directly. So I'm gonna try it. Oh shit. That should be fine still. There, perfect. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So right now I'm about to deal seven to him and he's gonna do five to me. But not if I do this.
beautiful. I don't need to do this. So I think, he could, yeah, he has one more life. I have no idea what he's about to do. So I'm just gonna play it safe. Oh, nice. There's some foils. The great scribe was incredibly bested. Wait, is that it? Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. Wait, that's it? Oh, nice. One down, three to go. Complete the Temple of Beast. You have triumphed. Narrowly avoiding tooth and claw, the Scribe of Beast was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. Adder, roll call, another salmon, mage knight, an explode bot. Whoa! When explode bot dies, the creature posing it as well as adjacent friendly. Oh, adjacent friendly. Oh, I thought I just saw the adjacent creatures. I didn't see friendly, so no, it's actually kind of bad, because that would hurt me a lot. I'm not getting jack shit from these cards. Sapphire Mox. Another one of these guys. Scribe of Beast was defeated. So now what? Stop. What is that? What the? It's a robot. I had to see your face after you lost. You've just... so... bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. We wouldn't have been... Th and we wouldn't... Wouldn't have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face, because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live in, as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Now we just leave? Actually, let me talk to these guys. Let's see if there's anything new here with them. Nope. Oh, the bridge is fixed. What's this? Okay. Ooh, easy there. Okay. Oh, here he is. Nice. All right. I think this is a good place to end the episode. Thank you, everybody, as always, for watching. I don't know where I'm going to go next episode. And until next time, bye for now.